a couple of days before spring football starts, we get them out, uh, check them over from the season, make sure they're, they're safe, there's not broken parts or anything on them. Uh, we re-decal them and then put them out for the players. Each player has, of course, their, their white practice helmet, um, and then select players that uh, dress and play in games have a, a second helmet that's, that's a navy one. All total, with the extra stock we have here on hand, we probably have close to 400 helmets. During the off-season, after spring football, we send all the helmets in to be reconditioned. They, uh, an independent company tests them, make sure they're still safe, that they're not uh, damaged in any way. Each player has, of course, one jersey and uh, one pair of pants in each color, so there's 18 different color combinations that we can wear. We plan out ahead of time what, uh, with the coaches, what look they want to have for a game, and then we prepare them and get them ready for that week. During a game, it's, it's kind of like triage. You're, you're sewing as fast as you can, hand sewing. Uh, we start to take the sewing machine with us on the road, so if there's a big repair, you can pull the sewing machine out and I'll pull the jersey off the player and make a quick repair that way. Uh, otherwise, during the game, we're, we're busy watching the play, see what's going on, see if a player comes out, if they need anything. And we're right there on the spot to make sure that they've got whatever they need um, fixed and then uh, get them right back out on the field as quick as we can. This last season, after uh, our bowl game at, in New Mexico, we lost about a half a dozen helmets. Uh, fans rushed in the field after we won uh, the game. Uh, some players left their helmets on the sidelines, and fans come by and scooped them up and took them. Just like working for the Aggies and making sure they're dressed and look sharp.